Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. Keep in mind, a lot of you are going to watch this in September. This is for the month of October, so I would urge you to watch it then. It's okay to watch it now. Um, this is prediction, right, of what's to come in October. Let's see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Gemini for the month of October? To October, October, October. What do we have for October? Courage. Courage. So you're obviously going to have courage and you're going to need courage. This is inner strength to face your fears or to deal with a hard situation. So you may be dealing with something difficult and you are going to need to uh, have the courage to, to deal with it. To deal with it. It's probably not going to be easy. Um, you may be releasing something. And I say that because we have release on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, um, yeah, you may be releasing something that... Uh, is difficult uh, apparently because courage is the is an ability to overcome something that is difficult okay so anyway something about release um, so you're gonna need courage this month and you're gonna be using your courage your strength your inner strength what do we have for Gemini for the month of October that's a pile. We're not going to do it. It's a lot of them. One card, please. Death. Well, death is a release. So you're going to be letting go of something. You are. Endings lead to new beginnings. Okay, death is a profound change. It's not always a physical death. It could be a, a death of uh, the old you. Okay, you could be dealing with somebody, you know, around you that is leaving your life. And maybe that's why you need the courage. Okay, these people, whatever this death is, if it is somebody that has passed away, this person will always be around you. They're watching you. They're guiding you. But death is a transformation. It's, it's a loss. It's a separation. But it's also a new beginning. Okay, so you're going to be dealing with some sort of uh, ending. Okay, this is an ending. Of some sort. It feels as though you may be the you may be taking care of somebody. You may end up taking care of somebody or explaining, you know, an ending to somebody. And it's gonna take some sort of courage to do that. You may be the one that is that uh becomes a caregiver or something like that. Hmm. Anyhow, death is is a change and it's a big change. What do we have for Gemini? There's one. Leg, stepping into a new experience. August, this has something to do with the month of August. Something may have started in this August or this person is born in August that we're talking about or 
Uh, next August is prominent, but the month of August is somehow uh, part of this reading. A dagger, fears, worries, tense situations. So there is going to be a tense situation, and I think that you are aware of it. I think that you know that it's coming, and that's probably why you're fearful. Chair empty. Oh, my God. Someone is leaving your life. Well, this reading seems to be pretty clear. You're going to have to uh, have the courage to deal with somebody leaving your life. And death, like I said, doesn't have to be a physical death. It could be. It could be somebody leaving your life, and that is your ending. They're de they don't die. They just leave. Okay? That that's, uh, symbolizes death as well. So, whatever's happening, someone is leaving your life. Um, you're going to be stepping into a new experience. It's not going to be easy. And that's why the card Courage is here. You're going to have to have courage to, you know, um, keep going, to take on new responsibilities by the looks of things. I think you're going to be taking on some more responsibilities. Um, you're going to be guided, okay? You are going to be guided, so keep that in mind. So what do we have for Gemini? Oh, death again. So this is, I mean, even in reverse, a reverse could is a disaster, an accident, an incident, uh, destruction. Okay, so this is like an ending for that 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 uh, needs to happen. This holding on is getting old. Okay, this probably needed to end. This person or you or whatever can't hold on anymore, and they've delayed. There's been a delay in this ending, okay? I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. You may not. be. could be dealing with a Leo. Um, I've wanted to say Capricorn. I don't know why. Um, I don't see Capricorn here, but it almost came out of my mouth a minute ago. Um, whatever is going on, someone is definitely leaving your life, and I think it's accidentally. Or there's an incident. You know, it could be an incident or something. Um, Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords is communication. It's the truth. This is a wake up call. This is definitely a wake up call. You're going to be getting a call with some sort of information. Um, Four of Wands reverse. Now, this is. The, the end of a party, it's the end, it's the, the cleanup time, this is a messy situation, the party is over, the honeymoon is over, um, all done playing games, all done having fun, it's time to, to deal with the, uh, the truth now, whatever the truth is, now this is a lack of commitment or the end of a commitment, it is. It's the end of a commitment. It's the end of a, a partnership of some sort. This is the sort of truth. This is a taking a new approach, a new truth. A new truth is coming out about somebody that you have been uh, having fun with, maybe? I'm not sure what is going on, but it is definitely coming to an end. Empress reversed. Now, I'm not sure if this is a loss of a, uh, if it is a child moving away or something like that. There could be a termination or um, something to do with a mother. Could have, you know, this could be a mother. Um, I mean, the Empress reversed can be at the loss of a child, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, and I'm not saying that this. I don't know what's going to happen, but it can be, okay? I mean, I, I don't like to say those words uh, at all, but it can be. This could be like a, this could be a miscarriage, could even be an abortion. I mean, the Empress reverse, but it's tears, okay? It's, it's like a sad mother or a sad wife or, a, well, the Empress reverse is uh, lack of growth, non-caring, absent mother, um... 
It could be a wife even that sleeps around, um, a mother that doesn't take very good care of herself, isn't very healthy, uh, doesn't uh, take very good care of her children. So this has to do with a with a mother of some sort that isn't a very good mother or doesn't want to be a mother or something like that. Um, and here we have an apology. So there's some sort of apology that is coming. A new doorway is open, opening. Okay, this is a new enterprise. A new opportunity is coming where there's an opportunity to start fresh, but it's not going to be easy. That's what this is. You have an opportunity to go down a new path. You're, it's almost like you're, this loss in the death card is a loss. And you have it a few times, okay? So, and it could be, it, I don't know what kind of loss it is, but someone is leaving your life in I don't know what way. Okay, but this is a loss for you. But it, in this loss allows you to uh, go down a path that you've never been down. Okay, it allows you to do something you've never done. This is a new enterprise, a new uh, foundation, uh, a new investment per se. You're going to be getting an opportunity to invest someplace else. But it's after this loss. <laughs> I think it's not going to be easy to start over after this happens. But you're going to, you, I think that there's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Uh, tears. I was going to say there's going to be tears. And I do think it, there's going to be tears. Page of Cups is emotional. I do think it's going to be emotional. I feel like there's going to be a lot of feelings. I feel like you're going to be expressing your feelings. I feel like... Uh, there's something to do with children here. Because these are both... These can symbolize two children coming together. Okay? So there's something to do with children. Um, this loss could bring two children closer together, whatever that means to you. Um, and this could be family. So I think this may have something to do with a family situation. Anyhow, I think it's going to be a very emotional time because some sort of truth is going to come out about, um... A relationship that is, is separate. There's a separation here of some sort. But that four of wands reverse. It's not happy. There's there's a lack of contentment. The party is over. Somebody may have went overboard. You know. Um, mm, this is an over flood. This is a this is a flood of emotion. It is. But this is also a new start in love. It's a new beginning in love. You also have an admirer here or somebody that is very, that cares for you. You have somebody here that really cares for you. You are going to be receiving um, emotional support or love from somebody. Somebody really has some feelings for you and they are going to be expressing those feelings. You could even hear I'm sorry from somebody. Okay, so I'm not sure who that is. I feel like um, it's definitely going to be a very emotional time. I think that you need to really listen to your intuition. I think your, your intuition is going to be very, very sharp this this month you're going to be right on right in tune okay with with your intuition your whatever you think is is going to happen okay put it that way your intuition is going to be very sharp this month i feel as though uh you really need to pay attention to your dreams as well your dreams are going to be relaying messages to you um Seven of Swords. This is beware. Beware. Be careful. 
Use logic. You're going to need to be logical. You're going to need to adapt. And I feel like when what, whatever this is happens, you're going to feel the need to protect yourself or retreat or something like that. I feel like you're going to feel defensive. Something is going to happen. And you're going to, it feels like you're going to decide to, you know, somebody may, or you or somebody's deciding to go, go your own way. Um, This is somebody getting away with something. Somebody's getting away with something or they think they're getting away with something. We have a very skilled individual here who has uh, been getting away with doing whatever they want for some time. This is somebody who's a repeat offender, whatever that means uh, to you. Does it does it all the time. There could be some sort of obsession here. Somebody may be obsessed. I feel like you have an admirer as well. It feels like you have somebody, I know I'm changing the story, and this may not be for all of you. You may have somebody that is almost like obsessed with you or, you know, something like that. So I do feel like you need to be careful. I feel like you're. it's almost like you're being watched by somebody. Um, this person may be obsessed. Interesting. You have, this is an enemy. This is an enemy of some sort. But this is the hand of God giving you an opportunity for love. But love and emotion. This is about following your heart, following your gut, following your intuition. This is very intuitive as well. You, it's something about, I think you're, you have somebody that may be trying to deceive you this month. And your gut may tell you. And I think that you need to listen to it. You definitely have somebody that is going to be sending you a message uh, that is very caring. I'm not sure that you can trust this person. You know, this is like, they say that they it, see, it appears that they care. It appears that they have genuine feelings. But with the Seven of Swords, I don't know. I don't know. That is acting without conscience. That is somebody that is very sneaky and underhanded. A spy of some sort or something like that. Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody that is not. Uh... Very nice. Very revengeful. Uh, you, you could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have Scorpio a couple times here. Um, you have you have you really have to be careful of an, I think there's another person that may be out to deceive you. They're out to deceive you. They're revengeful. They're jealous. This person is only out for themselves. Um, they may use emotional blackmail as a tactic. You could be dealing with somebody that is heartless, you know, and I feel like I feel like it's a I don't feel like it's a lover. I mean, it could be. It feels like it's a family member. It's a family member of a family member. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it could be somebody that's married into the family or, yeah, married into the family or, you know, it's almost like it's an outsider, which is interesting. Anyhow, I feel like you are, you are being deceived by somebody that is very, very jealous of you. This, this is, and I feel like you are going to be heartbroken by some sort of news that you receive. And this person may be giving you the news and they're very malicious. This is a malicious individual. You have a malicious. It is. It's, this person is malicious. And I feel like you're, you're just going to be depleted. I feel like you're going to be depleted and you're not going to want... Some, somebody's leaving your life and that's why we need courage. They're leaving your life and it's going to... 
I feel like it's going to be heartbreaking. Okay, I feel like it is. I feel like it's going to be heartbreaking. It's the truth. I think it's a wake-up call. I think that you may be, maybe you love this person, okay, or something like that. Or they love you, or whatever the case is. And I feel like, or vice versa, or both. But I feel like there is definitely a separation here. I feel like it is, it's a big loss, okay? I think it's very emotional. I think that you're going to cry. I think it's going to be sad. I think that you have um, somebody else that doesn't have good intentions that may take advantage of your loss. There you go. I got it. They may take advantage of your loss and... And, and I saw this, and that's what did it, this page of wands reversed. This person, you know, may see that you're vulnerable or that you're down, and they try to swoop in and see what they can get. So I think that you, you need to be careful. You need to be careful, okay? You are st stepping into a new experience, and there's a lot of shady people in this world that... Uh, can take it that do take advantage of people when they're down so I think that you're gonna be faced with somebody of that nature um, this person may pretend to you know have feelings for you or to care for you but they may be just offer after some sort of I don't know money that you have if you have any money I don't know anyhow you're gonna be receiving communication from somebody that I don't think has very good intentions and I think it's this person hears about your loss and they feel like it's a good time to, you know, be your friend or be your confidant or be your lover or whatever at this time because you'll let them in. And I think that you need to uh, have the courage and the strength to say, no, I'm just going to I'm going to do this by myself right now. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not I'm not looking for a commitment. I'm not looking to play games, you know, I'm not in the mood to celebrate or have any fun or whatever. This month, you are, someone is leaving your life, and I'm not sure in which, which manner, but this is going to really um, broaden, you, broaden your ability to start over. You're going to be starting over. It's not going to be easy. The Page of Pentacles is, isn't easy. It's not. It's like you're starting a new chapter or endeavor or enterprise and you're starting from scratch, okay? You weren't you weren't planning on it, but now here here it is. Here it is. So now you got to now you got to put in work. It's going to be work. So you're going to be um doing something that you did not expect to do. You are going to end up loving it, but but it's not going to be easy, okay? I don't think you're going to love it right away because you're experiencing a loss at the same time, okay? Um, I, this is definitely sad. I think I do see a lot of tears. So I think it is going to be a, a sad month. I don't think it's good news. I don't think it's good news. Um, I do think it has to do with a child. Um, something to do with a child. Mother, child, um, One more card for Gemini. You are going to be in some tense situation. Five of Wands reversed. Now the Five of Wands reversed is, it's like a battle. It's a defeat. It's, it's like, uh, Exhausted. It could be a full-scale battle, or it could be the end of a conflict. Maybe there's been some sort of controversy, or there's been some sort of fighting, or there's been some sort of uh, competition. This could be the end of it. Finally, finally, it's over. There's no more fighting. This is the end of the fight. It's the end of the competition. It's it's the end of the battle, right? So, but I think it's but. If you think about the next card, which is, which is the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands reversed is a loss. So I feel like uh, you are going to be experiencing a loss. But this loss leads to a new beginning. It does. It does. Endings lead to new beginnings. Um, I do feel as though 
whoever you've been fighting with, if it's been a family feud, and maybe it has been a family, if the family feud is coming to an end. And this could be with, with a lover even, an, a lover of your mother. I don't know what that means. I do feel sadness here. I feel sadness. And now we got temperance. Temperance comes after the death card. That is allowing and accepting change. This is managing your feelings. Everything happens for a reason. I do feel there, there could be a chance for reconciliation here too. Like I said, somebody may try to reconcile with you because, you know, they, they see that you're at a moment of need. And I think that you really need to be careful with that. I think that you're going to need to be patient and you're going to need time to heal. So I feel like this month you are going to be experiencing a uh, separation of some sort. And it's, it's not going to be an easy one. Good luck. 